I think that I've played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some more Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm actually going to just do one, so I guess it's not DIYs, which is so funny because myself and I know everybody else, they're like doing some DIYs. So if you actually like spell that out or like take that away, today I'm going to be doing do it yourselves. And I like die. I don't know if it's even funny to anybody else, but like I laugh so hard because it sounds so stupid when you actually say that. When you go, hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a DIY. That sounds like really cool. And then you go, hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a do it yourself. It means the same thing. Anyways, so if you guys didn't watch my Dollar Tree haul, I picked up some really random items that I was gonna be doing DIYs with. This is gonna be my mallet DIY. I know people are really like wondering what I'm gonna be doing and hopefully this turns out so I'm able to show you and I guess if it doesn't turn out I'm still gonna show you because it's gonna be asked. So the only thing I'm gonna be using in the mallets is these. So I'm using all four. I bought four and I had my husband cut the little um, things off because obviously like a little mallet is just gonna pop right off like I thought. I don't know why I thought that would do that. Anyways, we're gonna get started. Hopefully what I wanna do works and yeah, so mallet DIY. So what you'll need for this project is just a piece of scrap wood and four mallets from the Dollar Tree. My scrap wood piece is an 18 by eight and I'm just gonna take some of this Waverly Wax and the Antique and I just mix it with a little bit of water and it makes a really nice stain. So the less water you have, the darker your stain will turn out and the more water you have, the lighter it will turn out. Um, so I wanted this kind of dark but not completely like super, super dark. So I just kind of did a mixture of like both. I don't really measure anything out. I just kind of dump and kind of just eyeball everything. But yeah, all I'm doing is just staining this piece of wood and I do the top, the sides, and I also do the bottom. And then I'm just gonna use this Waverly chalk paint in white to paint the little mallet heads. So my husband did cut these for me and he did a perfect cut on them. Um, so there was a little bit of the wood inside the mallet, but it kind of made it like pretty flush. So you couldn't tell, although when I did glue these down, I did make sure that was on the inside so you couldn't see because you could still tell that there was a little circle there. I also did three coats of paint. I didn't do the tops and the bottoms because you weren't going to see them and then you could always fix them when they were dry and then glued to the piece of wood. So this is what it looks like when they're all painted with three coats. And then I just put them on the corners. I used E6000 in hot glue and I glued all four of the mallets to each side to make a little countertop shelf. I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I've played my part. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. I have been getting so much inspiration on Pinterest. I've been looking up farmhouse decor and just picking stuff out that I really, really want, but I really can't afford it on that type of budget. So this only cost me $4 because I already had the piece of scrap wood. If you don't have scrap wood, you can always pick something up from Menards or Lowe's. I know some places will cut them for you and it's pretty inexpensive. And then I just decided to leave this in my kitchen and do a little bit of decorating with it. I need to get away somewhere far from you. And I did decorate this one of two ways. I love a lot of the decor I already have in my kitchen and I love the way this looks but you can also just take your soap dispenser or your dish soap dispenser and stick them right on here as well and put it near your sink. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.